surprise me. You know what? I'll, I'll ask. I'll, I'll try to ask him right now. King Will! Well! Oh well. Well. So we are going to see Lucas Game & Watch. This is a little, a little bit of an interesting uh, matchup here. Yeah. So um, how, how do you feel about the Lucas matchup? So Lucas, um, what Lucas has to do in this matchup to deal with Game & Watch's ability to like crouch under PK fires or bucket them or like kind of just be able to camp a lot is Lucas has to mix up whether he's gonna like kind of take the space in PK fire, take the space in rope snake, or like take the space and like with a with a dash attack or a forward tilt or a fair, um, because then he's got you mixed up on whether you're gonna be sitting in shield, whether you're gonna be holding bucket, or whether you should dash back or like try to challenge him. So that's kind of dictating like who's winning the neutral exchanges, not so like spacing, more so just kind of mixing up. Um, Paracane's definitely going to be looking to try and uh, uh, bait Choco Taco in, maybe uh, bucket enough of the PK fires, um, and those do kill absolutely if you get the oil spill. Oh yeah. So I could really see this going either way. I think Paracane believes that this is a, a pretty solid matchup for Game of Watch. I can see why he would say that. He's doing pretty well right now. Oh man, Choco Taco. Not letting go of the, sh or actually letting go of the shield. A little too early. A little too early. He's got to hold it longer against that up smash. And uh, I don't feel like he'd be a stranger to this matchup, uh, having Rada in his region. Probably has gotten to face him a few times. Rada, another significant game and watch in Florida, hailing from South Florida. So this is probably not a matchup unfamiliar to either of them. We're probably going to be seeing these players with a lot of knowledge at the best of their abilities. Oh. That's some good, good shield pressure there. Choco's fighting. He is having a hard time getting the hits. Wow, Paracane letting him just come right to him, hitting him with the forward smash. Yeah, and Paracane seems to be dominating just the, the, the pace of this game. Yeah. These neutral interactions are not being dictated by how uh, Choco is... You know, Nair or Shohop fairing or uh, Shohop PK fire. It's it's dictated by what Hurricane does in reaction to those. Yeah, it's a lot of the space control. Yeah, as we were mentioning uh, a few sets ago with uh, King Will, Manny. Manny set. This is just kind of panned out in a little bit of a different way. Yeah. Trying to find an edge guard. Gonna find his way back to the stage. We'll see if Chaco can put together a little combo. But it's the key. The key, bro. The key's got a lot of, lot of, lot of space on it. Like that's a big hitbox. You gotta watch it. And it kills. Space. Key's got a weird amount of knockback growth. You can hit the key from the side. You can wait it out and then punish the landing. Is there is a landing hitbox, but I promise you, it is a punishable move. <laughs> but let's see if Paracane can run away with this a little bit or if Chaco can keep it close. Got Again. him in a grab, tossing him off. That, trying that to find same, something. That same uh, kind of uh, block string. Oh, and just Chaco grabs him right out of the run. Chaco being really, really, really uh, careful about not using special moves. Because as he's using special moves, Paracane will definitely bucket them. <laughs> yeah. And he does not want Paracane to have another kill move right now. Chaco Taco yeah. evening up the stock count. He's got some work to do, though. 111 versus Game & Watch. There's a lot of things he could die to. Yeah. Paracane is looking for... Maybe a stray down air. Maybe he's looking for a, a back air off stage or a forward tilt. Possibly a down smash. Or maybe an up smash bait. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. But oh, he's moving around him a little bit with the rolls, <laughs> but nothing coming of it. A stray down smash gets nothing. And now we're back to sitting here. I think the next neutral interaction might win. Game launches, I think... Uh oh! One of he's the finding himself in trouble. Lighter characters in the game. See, this is bad because now he's losing time on ledge man's ability. Mm -hmm. So Chaco's down smash on the ledge becomes more of a threat, especially because towards the top of Game and Watch's up he is no longer invincible. Mm -hmm. And if he comes to that ledge and still doesn't have invincibility for very long, yeah, he could be getting hit by that. Ooh. Oh, Chaco finds the fair! Wow! Wow! Great di, great di. And now I think Chaco's trying uh -oh. to find. 
what I was going to say was Chaco's trying to find that space to now uh, get a neutral interaction to where he can just grab. Offstage, he could win this with the grab. Oh, or the but fair. another fair. Damn. Dude, the, that fair was just the, the literal tip of that, man. Kind of moves in, steals that game one a little bit. I don't know. Hurricane looked extremely dominant of the pace and of the game mm -hmm. for the first like stocks, two stocks almost. I think he was just a little too impatient in trying to close it out Yeah, that it cost him a few interactions that led to that forward. To the full, yeah, to pretty much a comeback. Oh. But going back to game two, right on Pokemon Stadium 2, we find ourselves Again. Ooh. And I think Chaco is starting to dictate the tempo of this game a bit more than Parakeen was last game. <laughs> we only got the half screen. We're chilling now. Oh, did you see that? He can make it back, though. He did make it back. Yeah, Chaco was a little surprised by that. You see that little smirk, a little laugh. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't happy about that. But um, it's very hard to spike game and watch a low percent since he's able to up B and then still be able to air dodge up towards the ledge. Yeah. You know, I think um, Perkins really taking advantage of like, buffered moves. And so I saw him do, uh, what was it? Ah, he did a move and, and then immediately uh, did down smash out of it. Um... Ooh. Looking that's for the edge guard, oh, finds it with the up beat. Nice. Up man. And that's a great way for Game of Watch to steal off stocks. Um, your opponent can be in a range where they think, ooh, pops off with the F tilt wow. a little bit. That micro spacing, dude. Yeah. Literally just walking a little bit to the left and being like, hey. Waiting for hey. the normal get up. Yeah. And just popping them. Dude, I'm telling you. Putting up a little few nares. Game of Watch, an incredible oh, nair. Yeah. That's probably his best kit in the air. Combos into itself, combos into up airs. It's just overall really solid. A lot of range. It's coming out over and over, putting up not as much percent as Paracane is looking for. Yeah. But whatever he can do, whatever he can take. Yeah. He's got a bucket now. Uh, ooh. Popping off with the forward tilts a little bit. He's throwing out a lot of them. Yeah. paracane has got to respect that space a little bit. He's like getting close, but then like staying right in a range where Chaco is still able to to bop him off. Yeah. If he gets that close, I think he needs to, to think about a jump or maybe a roll behind, mm -hmm. mixing up what happens when he gets in. Yes. And uh, that, that brings me to what I was about to say, um, is that you notice that Hurricane is looking for a straight, like to hit a straight hit to then combo into. That could be the kill. No. To where, uh, Chaco Taco is doing a lot more of like trying to land a hit or wow, land a different st wow, I, that was bad. Um, but more what I'm saying is, uh, Hurricane is looking for hits oh, that are not snipes the top of the up B. That is. He knew, he knew that it wasn't invincible at the top. You got it. That's an incredible, incredible play by Chaco. To pull ahead on this game, too. He is up 1-0. Cannot see. He got a half screen. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. No, you're good, man. <laughs> Full screen, baby. Whoa. Just to see. Just Parrot to King close off the second stock with the back air. With that we nice are back air, man. Nice and even, but Chaco putting up some damage, 40%. Hurricane getting hit off stage, he's got to find a way off. Yeah, this and Chaco's very wow. good at this ledge trapping stuff, man. He is keeping him off the edge. Hurricane is playing most of this set off stage. <laughs> he's got to find some ground. He's got to, got to keep it a little better. And I think Hurricane's doing a little better now. He's, he's starting to incorporate those uh, short hop nares. Yeah, he's hitting him with the nair, with the fourth hit of nair, which is all the way out on the side. It's got yeah. some serious range, but he's in trouble right here. This is not a good look. This this might be the hit to win the to win the set. Yeah, one more fair could do it. A grab could do it. Whoa, oh, that's it. And that's the set. Taco Taco 
winning 2-0. Yeah, just a little bit of a nice win too. St staying patient, just sitting there waiting for Hurricane to move, to roll back on the stage and then just grab it and finishing that set out. I think what it came down to was when Hurricane was able to find his way in, mm -hmm. he kind of just ended up right in front of Chaco and Chaco picked up on that, was able to start punishing him for it and uh, Perrykane wasn't able to like mix up that game plan and then Chaco Taco kind of stepped it up he was able to I think pick up on his ledge habits a little bit because we saw him keeping him off the stage so so much Perrykane had it all really really hard time finding his way back from ledge and it's hard against him he has a lot of tools to keep you on ledge so yeah, man. great set I enjoyed it